welcome to my channel. I'm Parul Gulati, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Today's video is all about Indian hair wigs. What are wigs? Do you really need wigs? What do we make wigs out of, and why Indian hair wigs are the most popular? I'm going to answer everything in a jiffy, so let's just start. So when you're buying a wig, the most important thing is knowing do you really need a wig. Why do people go for wigs? Well, wigs are something that cover your head entirely. But if you're losing hair only from this much area and you still have some hair where you can clip, you can still go for topper. For example, our biggest topper, which provides maximum coverage, is eight into six. This is almost like a half wig. I'm going to show you how this one works. You may just clip it a little behind your own hairline provided you have some hair even if you have some hair this will work so settling any hair topper once you've put it on with a blow dryer gives a shape of your head which is very important you can do that with wigs also so yeah you might think this video is about wigs and i'm talking about toppers i'm just talking about this one topper which gives maximum coverage which is eight into six. It's one of the biggest. So wigs should be your last resort. Wigs should be for someone who has no other option but to go for a wig. Wigs are also a commitment to make because it covers your full head. It changes your entire face. Whereas with toppers, you can still use some of your own hair. Even lower, you can use your own hair and just you're covering the crown area, which is like the major part of your crown. And this topper looks really, really real. It's very easy to use. And the best part is you can also glue this topper. So if we don't put the clips, if you just wish to glue this, we can omit putting these two clips. Now let's just come to the real topic, which is our wings. What kind of wings do we have? Why Indian hair wigs are more popular. See, you can find many cheaper options of synthetic hair wigs. You can also find a lot of wigs that are available and they are available on Amazon and their quality isn't as great and they come with a shelf life. Whereas Indian hair wigs, they have great thickness. They aren't even as expensive as how it is very expensive abroad. People want to come to Indian hair because just look at the thickness of this piece. So if you're losing your hair entirely, I'm going to show you how you can wear this wig. This is a mono lace wig. First, tie your hair if you have some. And if you have no hair at all, it's very simple. You adjust this as per your head size. Now you may also wonder how to measure your head size. How would you figure out what is your head size? If you have a measuring tape, you need to first measure the circumference, which is by taking a measuring tape and measuring around your head. And from your hairline till the nape of your neck, at the back, and then ear to your cross, which we've also mentioned on the website when you go for medium head size. This is about 23.5 inches, which is I think my head size, medium head size. Actually both work because I like to adjust it with the band then you can use a wig cap also. I'm not using a wig cap. So, of course this I've just now styled. It looks very poofy and if it is looking very poofy, how you can tame it is by using a blow dryer and just... But if you don't have any hair also, then also it's absolutely fine. You don't have to stick to any thing that I'm saying in this video, this is just my opinion of few products that I have tried. So this is a mono lace wig. I'll show you from the back how it looks as well. Measure it. You need to measure it from here till the end how long it is. This is about 18 inches. This particular wig, this is a natural black color. This is our lace base wig, which is also in medium head size. It's a really soft, very breathable base. I'm going to use these two clips for firm grip. If you have a little bit hair, you may clip this one in. About this excess lace, I'm yet to decide. I don't wish to cut it for now because what if I want to experiment sticking 
because when you stick it, this is what it looks like. Yeah, so it is nice and dense and the thickness is beautiful. And then we have this really, really long wig which has front bangs. This comes with this adjustable band. This is not fully lace based. Uh, you can see it's just a frontal lace wig. It has lace in front and at the back there are wefts. This piece is a little different. What you do is first you put the band and then this portion, this portion you see is going across Oof. and then I'll adjust it accordingly. This wig looks like. Then there are these kind of wigs which are for people those who like a bit of different hairstyle and long hair at the same time something with color. If I put it in front there's a lot of thickness, there's color, there's volume, there's hairstyle, all of that. So you have these kind of wigs also. Now this could be just a style statement. So that's something you can absolutely do with these kind of wigs. So next one is the one with front bangs. This is very soft, silky, straight texture. This is what it looks like. This is not your quintessential wig. Of course, this comes with the limitation of coming with bangs and then it's not a lace based or even for that matter a frontal lace based this is entirely wefted with this reduces the cost of this piece it makes it really really affordable and cheap for a wig so we've tried to reduce everything that will make a wig very expensive we have 12 inches and 14 inches 12 being this short 14 being, being this long so Choose wisely before you make a purchase. I'm also gonna end with our mono lace wig uh, because this is our classic one. This is what we always have in stock. This is something we make very frequently. And I genuinely feel those who had great hair and due to chemotherapy or alopecia or even trichotillomania for that matter, they've lost their hair and they want to look back at what their hair used to be. So this one is slightly more, actually a lot more with color and I'm going to show you how this one works. I'm not wearing my wig cap for this one but I'm going to conceal all my hair because my hair is blacker. This is more of reddish. Now this is a small head size. I didn't even have to. <laughs> I look gorgeous. Okay, I was just adding that uh, I totally forgot after looking at this. Okay, I'm gonna make it more wearable right now. Just allow me. I like it. I I feel like very mommy now, ask me, ask me. I don't know if that joke <laughs> makes any sense any longer. That was five years ago. But this is beautiful for anyone who wants that color but don't want to damage their hair. And they have very, very, very fine hair provided. And topper is no longer an option. So this could work. I'll show you from the back as well. I love this one. So I hope I answered most of the questions about wigs, why they are important. I genuinely feel those who've reached a point that you don't have to do the topper or you use the topic or use the hair fiber, you have to do all the work. Then you should go for a wig, that is my thing. But again, I showed you a few wigs that you can use as a fashion wig and not a necessity but for a lot of women it's an essential part hence I say we make only five to six wigs a month and I would want it to reach out to women those who are in a dire need and if there are any questions you can DM us and if you're not sure which wig will work for you you can DM us on Instagram please